Discussing cardiac catheterization is heart center cardiologist Dr. Zubair Jafar. Dr. Jafar, what is cardiac catheterization? A cardiac catheterization, sometimes referred to as a cardiac cath or coronary angiography, is a diagnostic procedure that we frequently do to determine whether or not you have a blockage in an artery. It can also be used to determine whether you have blockages in the valves of the heart, as well as to determine whether or not you have elevated pressures in the pulmonary artery or in the lungs. The cardiac catheterization uh, is performed initially to determine whether or not there is a significant blockage that we need some type of interventional procedure to fix that blockage. Why would cardiac catheterization be ordered for a patient? A cardiac catheterization is ordered for several reasons. Generally, if your doctor is concerned that you may have a blockage, he will do a stress test. If that stress test is abnormal, the doctor will then order a cardiac catheterization to determine whether there is a blockage in an artery. In addition, sometimes a cardiac catheterization is ordered because a patient presents to the hospital with chest pain and there is a concern that there can be an impending heart attack. So a cardiac catheterization can be ordered for many reasons, but essentially it is ordered to determine whether or not you have a significant blockage in an artery. Is this procedure painful? That's a question I frequently get asked. And fortunately, I can always answer that it is essentially a painless procedure. We do use local anesthetic like you do in a dentist's office. In addition, the patients do get sedation during the procedure. Many of our patients uh, sleep through the procedure and frequently wake up and ask when the procedure will start. So I can tell you that it is essentially a painless procedure. Are there any possible complications? That's an excellent question. All procedures, unfortunately, do have a rare incidence of complications. In this particular case, this is considered a low-risk procedure. The chance of complications include heart attack, strokes, and bleeding from the procedure. Fortunately, more than 99% of the patients who undergo the procedure have no complications. After the procedure, is the patient able to resume normal activity? Fortunately, it is a fairly quick procedure. It can be as short as 10 to 15 minutes, and sometimes if it's very complicated, it can last several hours. Most of the time, the procedure is completed within half an hour. And one of the nice things about the procedure is that as soon as it's done, you'll be able to get results, and we will let your family know right away what we did. If a patient needs a stent, can it be placed at the same time as my catheterization? Yes, the term cardiac catheterization is a broad term. It includes the diagnostic portion, which is coronary angiography. After that, your doctor determines whether or not you have a blockage. If you do have a blockage in an artery, it can be fixed all at the same time. We use a, a slightly bigger catheters, but the procedure can be performed at the same time. Why would a patient need a catheterization before valve surgery? Very frequently, if you need to have valve surgery done, the surgeon would like to know whether there are also blockages in the arteries. If there are blockages in the arteries at the time of the procedure or the valve replacement surgery, then a coronary bypass can be performed at the same time. This alleviates the need for two different procedures. You mentioned earlier using a radial or femoral approach. Can you explain the difference? Traditionally, there are several ways to do a coronary angiogram. The traditional approach is through the femoral artery. Now, the femoral artery is located in the groin area. It is easily accessible and has been used for many years. However, it does uh, lead to more complications, particularly bleeding. Therefore, over the last several years, we have been using the radial approach. Now, that radial artery is located in the wrist. It is very easily accessible, and the angiogram as well as the stent placement can be done from the radial artery. The major advantage from the radial artery approach is that there is a much lower incidence of bleeding complications. In addition, the patient can literally walk off the table and can resume normal activity right away.